It's Pastor A, Ron. And Deacon is Micah. Another episode of Black and Blue. Uh, I'm actually wearing blue and black. Black uh, meaning pastor and blue meaning deaconess. But there we go. Mm-hmm. I've been wearing a lot of more blue these days, haven't I? I know. I don't know. Maybe being around a deaconess, this is what's happening. I'm rubbing off on it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Well, today's topic is... The The big life. The big life. The big life. And you're probably wondering, well, okay, what does that mean? Well, here at GLC Grace Auburn, Michigan, uh, we've been, we have been really thinking a lot about baptism because we had a whole family baptized on Sunday. Mom, dad, and baby. Yeah. We have, we have a couple more baptisms coming Mm -hmm. up uh, this Sunday, then the following Sunday. Mm -hmm. And so we have like five baptisms in January. And then of course, you know, Jesus did a cannonball. Just a couple Sundays ago, in the Jordan, in the Jordan River. River, with you know the baptism of our Lord, and you know we got to see the open heaven and uh, the, the spirit, spirit dove, dove on and the Father's Lord. voice saying, "This is my beloved Son, in whom I'm well pleased." And so we're thinking a lot about baptism here at GLC. And so last Sunday I preached a sermon titled "The Big Life," B I G Life, B I G acronym for. B, belonging, you have a home. I, identity, who am I? You're a child of God. And G, goal line, we're headed somewhere. Yep, absolutely, Mm -hmm. absolutely. Headed headed somewhere. Mm -hmm. Indeed. So we're going to go through these together just briefly so that uh, we can take the plunge together uh, into the big life that we have when we get to the waters of holy baptism with Jesus, mm-hmm. and it's a big life. It's inexhaustible, mm-hmm. unending. Mm-hmm. Eternal. Eternal. Forever. Mm-hmm. Forever and ever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. belonging, 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 belonging. Yeah. I mean, there's got there's different times where you feel really alone. Where I There's times in ministry where we feel alone. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Don't know what to do, and it's kind of like, what do I do? Who do I go to? Yeah, I mean, ministry, yeah, it can be very lonely. It mm-hmm. really can be. It can be. I mean, I have a deaconess and a cantor. So, I mean, we, we do have a team. But it's not like that for every uh, congregation. Mm-hmm. Most congregations have a pastor. And, you know, it's just really, it, it can be very lonely in ministry. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, mm-hmm. uh, and and sometimes you can feel very, very isolated. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, just the Christian life in general. I mean, the mm-hmm. devil wants us to feel all alone. Mm-hmm. All by myself. All by myself. Mm-hmm. But we are not like Macaulay Culkin, right? Nope, not home alone. Never home mm-hmm. alone. Baptism gives us a home. Mm-hmm. And not just any home. We get uh, a home in, uh, as you like to say, the uh, Father's Paradise Pad. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, and so, I mean, what does that mean for us right now? As we wait for eternity, it means that we have a family. When we pray, our Father who art in heaven, that's not us just uh, praying by ourselves all alone. But you're actually praying with us. (laughs) You're praying with uh, your brothers and sisters in Christ, um, in Kansas, and in China, and in Germany, all over the world. And most especially, you're praying with our big brother, our Lord Jesus, because he's the whole reason we get to say our father. Yeah. Don't sound like a pirate there. Our, our our father. father. (laughs) Okay. Well, okay. We're not pirates. Uh And I noticed you threw, uh, you threw Kansas in there. A deaconess is from Kansas. So there we go. Uh Uh-huh. But I'm not in Kansas anymore. (laughs) It's true. Uh I'm just going to go ahead and say it before you even make the kids yeah, joke. Yeah, she, yeah, that was a sneak attack by, by, by our deaconess. That, mm-hmm. that, that, that was good. That was really good. Thank you. So when you feel alone, you know, mm-hmm. fold your hands and pray the Our Father and realize that you are praying that prayer with all of your brothers and sisters around the globe and with mm-hmm. your big brother, Jesus. You are not alone. And then, of course, obviously at the rail, right? The Lord's mm-hmm. Supper. I mean, we are there with angels and archangels and all the company of heaven, right? Mm-hmm. All of heaven squeezed into your parish <laughs> as you uh, gobble down the body and blood of Jesus. Mm-hmm. And so you are not alone. Yeah, you're there with the brothers and sisters 
uh, in Christ that you can see with your eyeballs. But uh, do do remember that you have a whole side of the other rail that you can't see, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's got a very deep bench. <laughs> Extremely <laughs> deep bench. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Mm-hmm. So that's belonging. You mm-hmm. have a place in God's family, and he'll never give you uh, eviction paperwork. Nope. Nope, he won't give you the boot. Mm -hmm. Nope, you are in his family for life, for everlasting life, for the long haul. You belong to him. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. And that means uh, you have an an identity. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, identity is really uh, about a question, the who am I question. Mm -hmm. Who am I? Everyone's asking that question, everyone. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, there's a lot of voices that are trying to fill that question. Uh, you're not enough. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're, that's that. Yeah. I mean, that's sp- a especially very Satan, big one. right? Yeah. He wants he wants to make us feel like we are not enough. Your identity. You're a failure. You're yeah. Not you're not smart enough. You're not mm-hmm. strong enough. You're not pretty enough. You're not handsome enough. Mm-hmm. You're not uh, athletic enough. Yeah. Uh, I mean, <laughs> you're not cool enough. You're not uh, hip enough. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do kids say that word anywhere hip? Okay, I don't know. Well, maybe. <laughs> that was a big word for me growing up, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, if you want to be, be hip. Hip and with it. Hip and with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. So not hip and with it enough. Mm-hmm. Uh, not eloquent enough. Mm-hmm. I mean, the list goes on and on and on and on and on. Yeah. And what's really beautiful is when Jesus did that cannonball in the Jordan River, and he heard the Father speak, those words, you are my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. Jesus was already God's son. But that but that beautiful sentence, that beautiful voice from heaven, Jesus got as a gift to give to each of us in our baptism mm-hmm. so that we can always, you know, do a cannonball in the font and remember that the Father speaks those words over us. Mm-hmm. You are my beloved child in whom I'm well pleased. So who am I? God's own child. I gladly say it. I am baptized into Christ. Christ. I am mm-hmm. baptized into Christ. Our Lord's tickled with us. Our Father in heaven is so delighted in in each yeah. one of us. I, I still remember when a, a pastor told me, Deaconess Micah, do you realize that God's delighted in you? And I was like, oh. <laughs> yes. He dotes over you, delights yeah. in you. Oh, we never talk about that very mm-hmm. much, but it's it's true. Those words from our Father in heaven is what he he said at your baptism yeah. and at uh, at our baptism. Yeah, he look, Yeah, he looks at us and he just he's like, "Wow, I can't believe this person's mine, mine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This this person is my beloved child. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll do anything for this this dear little one." Precious to me, I delight. Um, they are enough. Yep. So who mm-hmm. are you? A child of God. Mm-hmm. And nothing, no one in this world can take that identity away from you. In fact, that identity will last. Into eternity. Into eternity. Mm-hmm. Yep, exactly. Mm-hmm. And the last uh, letter, goal line. That's where this is all headed. We were baptized for a purpose. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, sometimes we feel stuck. I know, you know in ministry, I preach, I teach. Mm-hmm. I visit, and sometimes I don't. I don't really see the results. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. is this doing anything? Yeah. Or like this week after a visit, I I mentioned to Pastor. I don't know if that visit was helpful. Uh, I might have actually made it worse. And I said, "Oh yeah, you made it so much worse." I did not say that, children. I gave her such encouragement. Uh huh. Which I needed. <laughs> I'm very thankful for that. That God is going to use that visit for His glory and for that neighbor's benefit and blessing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What yes. a joy to know that uh, all of our works done in faith, uh, they they have such meaning. Mm-hmm. And uh, these works will follow us into the new creation. In fact, Jesus, uh, you'll have his hard hat on and he, as he constructs the new creation and part of the raw material will be these good works mm-hmm. that flow from our faith in Jesus and so what a joy to know that we have meaningful work, that our, uh, you know, doing in this life isn't just for this life. It's actually eternal life work. It's going mm-hmm. to endure. Mm-hmm. 
-hmm. It's going to last. It sure doesn't look like it's going to last. A lot of times it looks very insignificant. It looks really small. There's a lot of maybe blood, sweat, and tears in certain one in certain works, mm-hmm. certain actions, things that you're like, this was an utter failure. Yeah. Uh, this is embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I say that? <laughs> but when we cross that goal line, you know, when we are uh, raised on the last day and we dance out of our tombs in those glorified, resurrected bods. Mm-hmm. We will have that great aha moment as the glory of God shines into those dark spots in our lives where we thought we were stuck and that our work was meaningless. Mm -hmm. And we will have that great aha moment and we will see how God used that moment. He used it for good. For for his good. Wait, are you saying all of that will be manifest for us? (laughs) (laughs) It's going to be quite a joy, isn't Uh it? Uh-huh. Yep. So yeah, baptism, uh, the big life. Mm-hmm. belonging you have a place in god's family identity you um, are a child of god baptized into christ and uh the, the goal line they, it's all going somewhere children it's all mm-hmm. going somewhere mm-hmm. and one day we'll get to see it we'll get to see it uh, we'll probably will it knock our socks off <laughs> when that happens oh maybe i don't know that? i guess we'll have to wait and see and, uh, you know, the way here at, uh, at, at Grace Auburn for me to remind the folks that this is all going somewhere as I end every sermon with, come soon, Lord Jesus. Because when he comes back, he's going to make, it ev- make everything brand spanking new. It'll be glorious. Very glorious. We won't want to blink. Mm-hmm. <laughs> will we be able to blink in heaven? I, I don't know. <laughs> at the resurrection, will we get I don't to? Know. Hmm. I don't know. All of the questions. Yeah. <laughs> All of the questions for eternity. Oh, okay. Well, I think that's a wrap for this uh, episode on the big life. Um, so, uh, by his wounds. We are healed. Yeah, until next time. Doodles. Doodles. Bye-bye.